Ah, Amherst, Massachusetts, the quintessential college town of the Northeast United States. Unfortunately, since World War II, this country has had a terrible problem with gentrification and redlining, and Amherst is no exception. As you can see from this chart depicting Amherst's black population over the town. This is not just a moral issue, because the more diversity found in race, socioeconomic status, or religion in a community, the more new ideas, exciting culture, and vibrancy will flow through said community. Amherst has the potential to create new sustainable economic growth by investing more in low-income housing, having less of a dependence on parking. The most direct way Amherst can increase its diversity is investing in low-income housing in the downtown area. In Amherst, people tend to either be a student or a university employee. As you can see by this chart depicting the 18 to 24 age population percentage in Amherst, which dominates the town. Such reliance on an institution for population is never sustainable, for there is always risk in the in institution failing. The domination of these two populations also restricts Amherst from gaining any diversity. In order to combat this, low-income housing investment is necessary for Amherst. New real estate downtown tends to only be luxury apartments meant for wealthy students to lease. For example, this image capturing luxury apartment buildings in Boltwood Walk, right in the center of downtown Amherst. If Amherst were to halt its luxury apartment buildings and create more low-income housing in the downtown, there would be many more blue-collar workers coming to Amherst. This would be great for employment in downtown Amherst because most jobs are considered blue-collar. This will create a much more reliable population, which is a struggle for Amherst because students almost always move away after graduation. Instead of all of Amherst's residents being white-collar white people, low-income housing will bring in more blue-collar people and more people of color. This will excite the culture found in downtown Amherst and create new diversity and vibrancy. Not just stopping luxury apartments meant for students will be enough to increase diversity in Amherst. An indirect intervention that will increase Amherst's diversity is creating a more walkable downtown. In order to make the downtown more walkable while increasing diversity, Amherst could build low-income real estate on top of parking lots such as Boltwood Garage or North Pleasant Street Public Lot. Convenient parking will still exist, but the town will increase attractiveness, walkability, and save money, while the low-income housing will increase Amherst's blue-collar and minority population. Also, the public having less people drive and more people take the bus or walk will lessen elitism in the community. People won't feel bad they can't afford a car and will bring more positivity into the community. Increasing walkability will also increase diversity because on average minorities do not have as much net worth as white people and struggle to obtain a car. 